Welcome to Catapults and Coffee. I'm your host, Freedom Woods, from Five Stone Survival. And it is Friday, so you know what that means. It is Frameless Friday. So today I thought we'd take the opportunity to discuss my bad fish anchor, anchor ring and personal defense knuckle impact tool. The bad fish is made so you can carry it in your pocket and have this if you need it for personal protection or if you get trapped maybe in car or somewhere where you need to break glass you have a great impact tool right here of course <clears throat> you want to protect your hand in any situation like that but this gives you a good tool to be able to utilize in an emergency situation also but more than that it's an anchor ring for shooting frameless slingshots now when you get into frameless slingshots let me start by saying you do not have to have an anchor ring but it does help a lot of people there are different ways to shoot Frameless, you can just loop it over your finger like so, and then bend it over your fingers. Some people just make the bands that long like this and just grab the rest of it in their hand. That works also. I made this really for beginners and veterans alike, really, uh, so that you don't have to worry about it. There's enough to worry about in frameless shooting when you're new to it to not worry, not hit your hand on your release or something like that. So <clears throat> instead of having to worry about all that, I made this. Now the bad fish you'll notice has two different radiuses and two different lengths on the top and the bottom. And then that is so that for different hand shapes and sizes, you can try to get, hopefully you can find one side that fits so that those tubes orient right there over your fingers. When you go to shoot frameless, all you have to do when you pull that band across them is point your, the tips of your fingers together just like that. And when you do that and pull the band set across them, you'll notice it goes right in that kind of valley there. And as you put tension on the tube, it, these tubes will not roll off. Now, when they're just sitting there, you know, you might have trouble with them like rolling off or something like that because you need to put some tension on it first. So... <clears throat> Pull it across to the front before you try to pull it back but if you just leave those together it, it's not going to slide anyway so put them together just like that and then as you put some tension on it then you can begin to spread your fingers or your fork apart just like so <clears throat> and then i recommend starting with a face anchor so that you can concentrate on proper form and technique with your release and everything Obviously, pouch pinch is even more, I mean, it's always important. It's like one of the top three things you need to do perfectly to shoot a slingshot properly. <clears throat> but with your pouch pinch and release, remember, you want to just be grabbing the ball of the ammo, not in front of it. You don't want to grab the pouch, grab the ball, so that when you release, it can release just as smoothly as possible. If you have in front of the pouch, you can cause, the ball, cause it to go over your finger like that and it will ramp up which can send the ball into your finger or fork if you're shooting a frame slingshot so remember that that's one thing I really like about frameless and I believe it will make you a better overall shooter because you will concentrate so much on that form you will try to get make sure that pouch is perfectly level perfect alignment elbows in perfect shape everything so that when you release it's only gonna go straight, okay? If you're having a little issue, if you're scared of maybe hitting your finger, one way you can kind of eliminate that risk of ramping up the ammo is you can put a twist in your pouch, similar to if you were shooting pickle fork. You can actually just, and you don't have to also tweak it like you would with pickle fork. You can just twist it and just twisting that whether it's with a frame or frameless or anything, will bring that shot down on target. So if you're shooting a little high and you don't really want to move your anchor position, that's another thing you can do. Instead of going like this, you can just, just like that, and as that tube tries to straighten itself out, it will just bring itself directly across the middle. <clears throat> anyway, that's how you shoot frameless. Um, I think that it's something that every shooter should learn if you want to be a well-rounded slingshot shooter. I think that it will absolutely make you a better shooter with your frame when you're hunting or competition shooting or target practice or whatever you're doing. 
all around, I believe it makes you a better shooter. If you want an anchor ring like a bad fish to learn or just to have something to EDC, please message me on Instagram or Facebook, and I'd be happy to make you one and send it out to you. I can also make frameless tube sets for you guys for just a few dollars if you want to just learn that way. Anyway, happy Friday, everyone. Get out and shoot some slingshots, drink some coffee, be kind to each other. I'm Freedom Woods. This is Catapults and Coffee.